Hello everyone and welcome to Quip. Quip is a safe space for us to talk about anything and everything under the sun. So today, it's a pretty cozy event. I'm having a relationship chat with my girls today. So let's get into it and let's Quip in. So today, I have with me Alvina and Megan. Hi, Hi everyone. So let's get right into it. Can you share with us a little bit about your relationship? Like how long you guys have been together, etc. Okay, so my boyfriend and I have been together for four years now. Mm. Um, officially so in July. Ooh. It's coming soon. Uh, and yes, we met in Poly. Uh, we were from the same clique and I kind of dated his close friend Ooh. before him. So there's a bit of tea there to spill. Okay, okay. okay. Make sure you, you spill everything. Suspense. Make sure you spill everything. I will, everything. I will. Yeah, if yeah, Charlotte yeah. remembers to come back to Our me, I will. Our cups are empty. <laughs> We're waiting for the tea. Later on. <laughs> Keep you in suspense. Yes. Okay, Max. So mine is, uh, I'm currently in a four and a half years uh, relationship. Oh. So how we met, I can say, I fall into a trap. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so like a mutual friend is just like, single, single, why not? Yeah. yeah, but it also took us some time. Like, it took us actually two years to get back to each other because mm. at that point of time, I think we were still very young mm. and living in two different countries. And yeah. I was still studying, and he's also still studying. So, I figure now is not the time. Do but you very mature. Yeah. So, was there like an <laughs> initial spark? But it took not a while. really, not really. Or just not at all. Oh. Dang. Because it was just like a three hours getting to know yeah, you section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess it's also a little bit awkward when you awkward, are like meeting someone awkward. for the first time and you're like, in yeah, your head, you're like, like, my friends, oh. like, Sheila, yeah. two of you can click. Uh, like, we have this in the back of like, our people mind. are already yeah, like, like, they're like forcing you. Yeah. But I do think it's kind of nice, you know, meeting in person, mm. like, you know, in school for yes. you, your, your friends match meet you. Because I actually met my boyfriend on a dating app. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So I do think, you know, like, we all know there's that yeah. stigma. A lot of people mm. like, oh, Tinder is bad. It has a bad to... reputation. Mm. Yeah, it's for like hookups or like people who are not very serious about this. But for me, I did see my friends had some success. In fact, like one of my friends got married. Oh, this is successful. Yeah, you're one of the lucky yeah. ones. I hope so. Fingers crossed. Hope Fingers so. crossed. Four Amen years to together. Yeah. We this are the four, 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 four. four. We are four, four. Yeah. True. So yeah, also I'm very auspicious. <laughs> In Oh yeah, Chinese. Yeah. 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 yeah, so four. actually mine's also next year will be hey, next year. Next, next month. month. <laughs> next month makes Girls. it four years. Happy early anniversary. High five. <laughs> July couple. Yeah. So we met on dating app. I mean, when I first joined it, I was like, didn't really have very high hopes because my friends were also like, you know, take your time. Mm. It might take a while before you find someone. But for me it was like within a month I swiped on him. Oof. We talked, we talked, and a few weeks later we met up, and a few months later we were officially together. So, and four years now. Exactly, yeah. So, I think at the start till now, I guess we have seen each other through quite a fair mm. bit. Like, when we first met, he was a student, I was working mm. already, and then I saw him through graduation, his first job, and now his current yeah. job. So, like, oh, you're growing things. together. Yeah. And it happens with, like, because yours is, you met in school and like mm. after four years, how is it like? Mm, in the beginning, it was very, very rough. Mm. Okay, because you also did say yeah. the tea oh, yeah, there. The tea. The tea yeah. there. Oh, yeah, that's very <laughs> messy. Can we fast forward to the tea? To okay, <laughs> okay, we fast forward to the tea, okay. So basically, uh, I was dating his close friend in the clique before that. Mm. So it was about two and a half years. And then uh, obviously we broke up. Yeah. And um, I got closer to him in year three when we had to work on some projects together yeah. in school. And um, he, I wasn't really close to him before that. Despite being in yeah. the same clique. Yeah, there's always that one person that, <gasps> that like, you kind of like, still awkward with yeah. when you're <laughs> one you mean, one. Mean, yeah, mean. so that was me and him. Uh, but as we got to know each other better, I guess we kind of clicked and mm. it was very unexpected for the both of us. But yeah. Because you really don't expect like you can get along yeah. with this guy who never like yeah, talks yeah. to you. If you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. Because you think like, oh, if I like him, then I would have liked him like two years, years ago. Yeah, yeah, when we first met, there would have been that spark, but yeah, there wasn't. Yeah, yeah. But 
it, it wasn't I think cause he wasn't my type at all mm. but yeah begin, that's why it was one of the reasons why it was rough in the beginning okay okay cause um, I tried to make him like mold you know have this mold into him to someone that, that he's not that, that, he's, yeah. that he isn't which now that I look back is actually a very toxic okay. trait la, and, mm, yeah. yeah but I I feel like it happens quite like often I would Do say you, I you guess so? a lot of us, especially when we're younger and we're students, we tend to base off what we see in relationships mm. of Hollywood, of Korean oh, yeah, dramas, from, from yeah, TV. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so saying, for like, me also, when I was in secondary school, and then like I was starting to watch like these Korean dramas, mm. like, so like, hey, like, like there is there is this imagination this is, yes, that yes, all yes. relationships are yes. like rainbows it and butterflies. Yeah, then like yeah. Yeah. Idea. how come my boyfriend? Never do this. Like, how come he not yeah. like this? How come he not as tall as Lee Min Ho? <laughs> I don't I know. Mean, we all wish. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, but you know, when you start comparing, that's when you start yeah, exactly. being yeah. mm-hmm. discontent in your relationship. Mm. So I guess, in a way, maybe that's why you also maybe, started yeah. comparing, you know, with other For people and expecting him to have to be like that kind of person. I think it was bad because I was kind of comparing him with my ex as well. Oh, like the guy who is his, his friend. friend? Yeah. Ooh. No, okay, it, it's bad lah, it's bad. But because um, I would say that there were things in my ex that I you would prefer. have preferred uh-huh. him to have as well. But yeah. but we definitely worked through that. It's a working, work in, in progress, progress yeah. kind of thing. I mean, it's the same for all long-term relationships. I'm mm. sure the both of you have like mm-hmm. yes. still have underlying problems. Of course, of course, but yeah. It's it's how we really sit down and want to compromise because mm. I feel like love is a compromise. Mm-hmm. I, I I agree. The the you know the romantic feelings they only last for that long, mm. but it comes to a point where you you it's more of a commitment. Like hey, I want to stay with you. Yep. So. What should we compromise do? each yes. other? Yeah. Like we have, you have this issue. I have this issue. Why not we talk about let's it and yeah. see where in we the can middle? Be. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, so, that's what we're trying to do. Yeah. yeah, like speaking of that, actually before this session, I actually googled like you know how long does the honeymoon period last? Mm-hmm. And it said normally it's about one, eighteen months. Year. Eighteen months was so like one and a half. I did not ish. feel that so yeah. honeymoon phase <laughs> at all. No. I think at the start maybe when you're still new to the relationship, you tend to give in a lot. You'll be mm. like, oh yeah, okay, like this is acceptable, this or that. And maybe there might be like underlying feelings of like, mm. I wish he did something else that way. But it will only like come it up maybe like on a little bit on, right? later, yeah, yeah. When you start to lose your patience and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. So you know, Megan, you guys have been together for four and, and a half, half years. years. Yeah, half a year more than. <laughs> <laughs> you are senior by that. Hey, yeah. Things can change by in half a year, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah really. Oh, really. That's very true as yeah. well. True, true. So how is it like for you guys from the start till now? For the start, it's it's like really a roller coaster, right? I can mm. say like. Two different people, like we get to know each other in a very short period, then like we yeah. just get together. Mm. And we go through the process of like getting to know each other from zero. Yeah. So like oh. a lot of fights, yeah. a lot of like I don't agree on this and you don't agree on this. And mostly we are like spending time on two mm. different countries, like oh, so that adds up the stress yeah. and sometimes I need to wait him to reply in order for us to solve ah. like Oh, and that's the thing, when you're waiting for the reply, your head yeah, is like, yeah. like cooking drama in my head. Like, like angry yeah. and angry. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we're making like, like the scenes. Why is he not head. replying? Yeah, why is he he's he's talking to someone else? Oh then God. your head is like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually yeah. not a good thing. Yeah, yeah. I It's think actually not a good thing. Come it's think about natural it. for yeah. all relationships to have like these insecurities mm. and whatnot. And I mean, for me as well, like, I think... Just now you mentioned also like you know when you were to, like when you first got together with your boyfriend you were comparing him to your yeah. ex, but for me I think I let my past relationship traumas affect my current relationship. So you know I did have a relationship previously mm. where my ex sort of missed his ex. And oh. he would stalk Girl. her on her blog. And sometimes when I use his laptop, then like, hey, the why, previous why, yeah, search. Why oh the my god. The previous one was there. Or sometimes it's still open. That's a very like, sub- it's like feelings, You yeah. feel that he hasn't moved on 100% yet. Yeah, so for me, I was like, okay. I, like, I feel so yeah. hurt. Yeah, yeah, I was very like, 
hurt and also very upset lah. But he be like, you know, I'm just like trying to see how she is. So you like, brought it up to him lah. Yeah, I did say like, why are you still reading this? Yeah, that kind yeah. of thing. And he's like, oh no lah, I just want to see how she's doing. But then he ended up... She's doing fine. <laughs> he ended up actually... We actually had a huge fight and we almost broke up mm. because he said that he wanted to like go back together with his ex. What? So that was something that I carry with me into my next relationship it's because kind of creating a trauma. Yeah, yeah, really. And I guess it was never really properly settled as well. Mm. So I carried that into my next relationship. Yeah, you'll and be ins- like insecure. You know, you yeah, you're afraid that the baggage. it will it will happen again. Yeah, you know? yeah. So I kept having this worry in my relationship. Like I was like. Do you miss your ex? You know, you know, like uh, you still. I think I, I think I get because what you they mean. were together for a long time as well. Mm, so like, yeah. do you still miss your ex, or like, do you secretly like try to look at her Instagram? Unconsciously, you are so scared that it's gonna happen to you. Exactly, right? it's, it's normal. Yeah. As long as you know mm-hmm. that it's an issue that you wanna fix, then I think. It's and okay. I think we finally hit like a tipping point when mm. he was so frustrated that I kept bringing this up over and over and over again. Like you were so like, insecure. Hey, insecure. Yeah. I'm into you. Mm. I don't care so about sweet, I don't care about my wow. ex. In so fact, my mess. ex yeah. gave me trauma as well. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like you keep bringing this up over and over again. It's very hurtful to me because I'm a like I'm I'm with you. I'm loyal yeah. to you, and, and I'm like two different person. And I don't understand why you know you still have these feelings about mm. that. Mm. But you know I hope you can trust me. And I think after hearing that and you know me trying to work through my own issues mm. as well, I think. It really helped. Like, could have been I a wake up call for exactly. you. Exactly. Well, like, right. you know, if I keep carrying on this kind of like, yeah, pulling in, yeah. like, however I yeah. felt about like old feelings. I think long stuff, term, if you keep on doing it long term, it's not good. Yeah. It would have really affected us yeah. in the long term. So, is that something you guys have faced as well? I know, Alvina, you said that recently you kind of had a little. Mm, mm, yeah. Another mm. team. Actually, I do want to like advise. I, I actually wanted to ask. Like advice from okay. you guys, because we kind of I recently had feelings of missing being single. Mm. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, which I feel a lot of girls go through that. Actually, a lot of my friends go through that as well. Yeah, and have been going through it, missing the single. Yeah, mode missing as well. the single like life. Yeah, is that because you met your boyfriend like? From Polly, I think so. Yeah, That's like quite a young yeah. age. I felt like there was no break in between for me. Because mm. before uh, before this current one, right, there was only like about one or two months in between and I felt like I've never gotten a chance to properly experience like dating, dating around or guys. even just having time your, on like, like me your time, single time. Your me yeah. time yeah. So, yeah. so I guess it sort of made me miss that and, and f- my friends around me, some of them are like single and stuff mm. so kind of made me like yeah. yeah. FOMO. Yeah, FOMO. A little really bit, is, yeah. right? Because you know, sometimes your friends like out clubbing, like just having yeah, you a need to be life. at home. No, la, but no, la, he lets me spend club. Time. La. Yeah. He lets me go to the club and all because we trust each other a lot and stuff. Mm. Oh, so I think something I have felt also is that sort of, not, not saying missing being single, but when I look back on being single, I really think I enjoyed my singlehood because mm. I went through the same thing as you. Mm-hmm. I've been dating from the time I was 16 all the way to the time I was 24. So mm. there's a whole it's like a transitioning period. A long yeah. eight yeah. years. Yeah. You don't you get, yeah, you didn't get yeah. to do things yeah. on your own. Yeah, yeah, that was a good two, uh, one third of my life yes. that I was always yeah. dating someone else mm. or, you know, being, being someone's, someone's girlfriend. Partner. Yeah. Mm. So after my last relationship, I was like, this is it. I need, I need a break. I need, yes, I need a break. <laughs> I need to figure out my. I need to figure out who I am, like enjoy myself for me, and not because also like you're in an age where mm. we grow up. You yeah, know, like, and you're exploring. Yeah, we started working and life is just going on. Yeah, it's, it's so overwhelming sometimes, right? Exactly. Mm. Like you need some time to figure out who you are. What are the things that you actually like, and it's not yes. that you mm-hmm. did because that's what your ex I liked feel as like well. Early twenties. Is a lot about like self exploration yeah. because, like you said, we we are going through so many phases mm-hmm. and so many times like oh graduate then find full time job or yeah, internship yeah. or whatever it is. It's 
a huge, a lot of big changes yes. are happening at that point. You're slowly coming into mm. your adulthood as well. And I think it's also a huge period of time for you know, your relationship to make it or break yes. it. Yeah. Is. So yeah. with me and my ex, we actually were also together for three to four years. We actually got to the point that we were like, is it time to BTO? Is it oh, time to start mm, settling yeah. down? That kind of thing. And then it was when we hit that point that I was like, actually, I no. don't think this is the guy that I want to settle down with. Because I felt that, you know, a lot of times when you're dating in your early 20s, you're like, mm. okay, this is acceptable. Like, yeah, you know, he's, but not he's in always late, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I can put up with that. It's okay. It's okay mm. when you're dating. Yeah. But, but marriage. Yeah, long term. Yeah, as a future husband, as a future Like those small father. things that usually yep. frustrate us, you know, like I tolerate you a lot of times, but yes. like, yes. it's like bottling up, you know. Yeah. Yes. So I kind of get what Charlotte means yeah. at yeah, this So when we finally reached there, I was like, oh dang, <laughs> I don't think I can marry you. Actually, it's a good thing, what? it was like yeah. a reality you, check you for realize, you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I do feel bad for him. Like, I mean, probably it was a mm. rude shock as well. Like, we were together mm. for like three, four years and suddenly like, sorry, dude. Like, I don't think we are going to work it out. I always feel like it's good to just end it when you know it's not going to work. Mm-hmm. I totally agree. Don't waste agree. each other's yep. time. Yeah. Like, don't waste your youth. Like, yes. three years <laughs> is a long time, but the rest of my life is it's an even, even longer long time. time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think, you know, everyone's relationships go through these different apps and flows mm. Mm. and I know Megan now that your boyfriend is working as well there's a little something that you wanted to share with us maybe it's because we are working in a different mm. industry sometimes mm. I do feel like a bit insecure also but in my case it's like um, you know in the workplace where there are female co-workers yes yeah so mm. sometimes mm. sometimes I do feel insecure when like those female co-workers you're like Try to talk to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, too friendly. Too friendly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes yeah, they're okay, being okay. too friendly, but at the same time, I do feel like, hey, am I the one who is being like sensitive, overly sensitive, sensitive, or do I think too much? You know. But after a while, it got the worst of me, and we do get into huge fights. Mm. Yeah, and I don't think it's uh, something healthy for a relationship. Yeah, of yeah, course. Yes. So I actually, what I did, I did. Um, sat down and talked to him about mm. it. I do tell him how I feel. Mm. I also understand that I'm putting him in a in a position where it's difficult. It's difficult it. because like one side is with me and the other side is professional. Like you yeah. still have to yeah. maintain he can't cut this person yeah. out. Yeah he of can't his cut life. this person yeah. because like it's a professional relationship. Mm, mm, mm. Is it correct word? I guess. <laughs> is that, is so yeah, yeah. yeah. So like yeah. I just tell him like how we get over it is just if with her if it's work related it's okay i don't mind yes. mm. yeah yep. but if it's something outside of work or like personal i can't accept it mm. yeah because yeah, i think that you know if she's getting too too friendly yeah. asking yeah. him out for drinks yeah, yeah. sometimes i do really yeah. feel it's my off limit or even texting at like very late at night. Yeah, there's then work it's, email. It's there's work email. Yeah. Like, why you need to WhatsApp, WhatsApp, WhatsApp? Yeah. Kind yeah. of a slightly mm. grey area. Mm. Would you say that? I, yeah. I think it's good that you drawn the line with yep. him and yeah. you spoke out about mm-hmm. it early on. So yeah. I think it's good to you know state yeah, your because boundary. Because like, I don't yes. want it to be like a burden that I have to carry in my yeah. chest yeah. forever. That's good. That's good. Yeah. And I think especially because you guys live apart. Yeah, and true. And most of the time we're not together. Yeah. And I don't want to feel like. Insecure whenever like I go back to Indo, yeah. Or something. Yeah, yeah. So exactly. Yeah. So I think another thing that I wanted to ask Alina is like, yes. you know, as a model, I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure a lot of guys are trying to slide your DMs and be like, hey pretty lady. Hey, so you're right, you're right. So how No 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 you are <laughs> How does your boyfriend react to that? Um honestly, he is totally fine with that. Mm. I mean, I definitely do get like requests here and there. Um, what we do is I actually make fun of it. Oh, uh-huh. make like jokes yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, I heard that your boyfriend and you yeah, do yeah, that too. Yeah, sometimes yeah. it's like, it's a bit weird in DMs. Yeah. I just yeah. show him, hey babe, see. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. But honestly, sometimes so I think funny. it's like those very scammy. Yeah, yeah, it's like. Actually, have a looking have, have, have. for sugar baby those oh kind. Like we can see, obviously, is a scam yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Then they offer like X X X. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, wait, you want no extra pocket yeah, oh money? Oh my god, yes. <laughs> you want no <the> extra pocket <laughs> money? Be the sugar baby. Yeah. Nowadays, they will like offer to buy your like underwear or whatever. Bro. I mean, okay, it's kind of weird, but I I I seen it re- surfacing on like TikTok. Oh my god, So some I have been asked before also. Then after I just show my boyfriend, and then he he was like, hey. I just go and buy a uh, Victoria's Pantry or something. Then I wear it. I send him la. He won't know also. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then, then I'm sleeping. It's like we make light of the situation. And you actually bonded more. Yes. Yeah, do, do that's true. Yeah. So instead of letting this kind of stupid things affect, affect you in a negative yeah. way. Yeah. Actually, you guys have a good yeah. laugh about it. But I, I also want to like preface this that um, if you have a stable relationship and you have for this to happen, there must be a strong foundation. Mm-hmm. True. A good yeah. trust, like, I can trust. Yeah. Yeah, There has to be a lot of trust. Yeah. You know, well, I think, yeah. especially after see- going together for mm-hmm. four years, mm. you kind of know him, he kind of knows know you, you yeah. and That's the foundation is already there. But I feel like if there's anything that you feel like uncomfortable yeah. with, definitely have to bring it up. Yep. Yeah. So actually, how do you guys handle conflict? Because for me, my boyfriend is very anti conflict <laughs> So like if I have like anything I'm upset about mm-hmm. and I want I'm very confrontational, he is very non confrontational. So I'll go in like babe and then he'll be I'm like, exactly the same. And then he goes out like that generally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he feels very taken aback, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. He feels like, attacked. Huh? Yeah. Then why are you attacking me now? Why are you shouting? Yes, yes, yeah, like, what did I do? What did I do? I never do anything wrong. What did I do wrong? Then panic, right? Yeah. yeah. But I think it's something that we need to work on, you know? Yeah. Like yep. maybe for me, holding back a little bit. Yes. For him, try speaking out a bit. More. Not, not jumping to straight to like, you know, running away and hiding. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, is that something you guys face as well? Yeah, yeah. I definitely, definitely face that yeah. a lot. So you're also on the end where you're more vocal yes. about problems. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I'll be the one who's like, okay, um, can we sit down and Dang. talk about this issue? <laughs> so grown up. Hey, hello, <laughs> we are like dating the same guys. Uh, all three <laughs> of them should meet up. Very so I was, I was telling Charlotte, like, my boyfriend is like, so like, a light yeah, to really? Yeah, very yeah. Like, oh, I, think I don't know how really guys are generally like Comfortable that. being at home. Yeah. Oh, Whereas okay, okay. I like to go out, oh, I like to hang out with my girls, experience. I like to dress up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, they will not. Uh. They will show oh. up wearing that like, t-shirt, Okay, my boyfriend different top. in that sense. He likes fashion. Okay. Because he's very into like, nice, eh? K-pop ah. and stuff also. Okay, okay. So, will, so like, you guys are you. compatible in that way. Because yeah, you both like that sense. Yes. Ours is like, we dress up. Uh, and then <laughs> the guys are like... But it's okay, because oh. I dress up for me. And yeah, not yeah, for yeah. him at this No, but sometimes <laughs> you want your partner to put in a bit like, of effort, like, you know match, I mean? At least matching match a bit. Yeah, yeah, I wear so yeah, nice, yeah. you wear slippers. Yeah, like match my energy. Yeah. <laughs> match but your yeah. own energy. I match my own energy. <laughs> so I mean, yeah, I mean, for small things like this, I think it's fine. Like, mm-hmm. let yeah, him yeah, be yeah. comfortable, let him be him. Yeah. But when it comes to bigger issues, like, you know, moving forward, as we are yeah. coming to the point of like, you know, it's either we're going to get married and spend oh, the rest of yeah. our life together that kind of thing. Then it's like, how would you face, like how you raise your kids? Mm, yeah. Or like how you, you know, do you want to bring your kids to church? Or, you know, for him, he's Catholic, I'm Christian, that kind of thing. Oh, so okay. again, that's More also, the serious talk. Yeah, that's also something serious that we need to talk about. Mm-hmm. You know, do, these, do you guys have these kind of things since it's been four years? Mm, for me, we have we have thought about BTO and all that because my friends all around me are, are doing so already because I heard nowadays it takes like what five to Sis, eight years. Yep, it's five to eight years. Oh my god, it's crazy. Uh, so long, so long. Yeah, like, That's longer than most relationships. Yeah. I think by then I'll be in my thirties already. You will. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty-five plus eight. I guess eight. for us, we are taking it slow because I don't want yeah. to feel. Pressured, like, yeah, yeah. especially cool. after you sign, and then sometimes yes. people you will get like yes. so full oh, in pressure, really cool. yeah. Like, hey, I signed BTO already, yeah. but it's not yeah. the relationship is not working. Like, exactly. should I stay or should I yeah, yeah, exactly? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then now there's that thing tying you guys down. Yeah. So, I never thought it was a 
both of us never thought it was a good idea to mm. like hold us back like this. Okay, okay. And we always thought like, I you can just buy resale. We just gotta work harder or something. Another option. Yeah. 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 Spouse yeah. a girl. But I, I don't like to feel the... Trapped. Yeah, I don't like to feel trapped. I feel like you only have one yeah. life. Why do you have to make... Why do you have to bring yourself to the point where you are... You are tying yeah. yourself. Yeah, mm. there's no, no point like... Uh, yeah. A lot of girls and guys feel this way and I want to say that it's okay. It's, it's okay yeah. to like... We are not in a rat race. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Although in yeah. Singapore, it's very, you know, there's the timeline. We like, have this by this age. Invisible this age. timeline. Not just in Singapore. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Same. Maybe in yeah. Asian countries. In yeah. yeah, I think mostly Asian countries. Yeah. I think it's also same. sort of like the pressure that your parents yeah. sort of put on you without actually saying the words. It's yeah. like they hope <laughs> you are getting invisible. Uh, they hope, you know, you can go Especially from Chinese one New Year. step to another step. And of course, they also might want to have grandkids. <laughs> yeah. you know. So they kind of also want to see you moving on in life. La. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think it tends to sort of put that pressure on us as well. Like, you know, I need to start planning for my next step. I need to mm. start planning for my next step, that kind mm. of thing. But I, I feel like nowadays people are way more like chill yeah. about it. Especially when we are more exposed to social media and stuff. Yeah. You know, people exactly. just say like, it's okay, like, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm 28, I don't have yeah. a boyfriend, that kind of yeah, thing. It's true. You yeah, feel yeah. like you have people to relate to now. Yeah. So. Like in the past, I feel like we always yes. say, is it just me? Yes, yes, like, is yes. it just me? Like, hey, my, my surroundings like are all I'm like... maybe I'm the problem. Yeah, apparently like and my friends yeah. mostly are all like married or having kids. Yeah. Like, I'm the one... Still, still living life. Living it yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. And like, but, my partner and I actually, we are taking it slow, especially mm. like, the serious talk mm. that we have. Maybe it's a slightly different than mm. what you guys are facing. Ours, because we are, both of us are Indonesians and he is mm. working in Singapore. So ours is more like, do we want to settle down in Singapore or do we want to like, go back yeah, home? That's yeah, that's Yeah, but if we go back home, if we go back home, we can't really go back to our hometown because mm. of like the job and all yeah we might have to move to another city but so that, one step at a time yeah I yeah guess. because yeah. we can't really decide now yeah yeah so we are still going with the flow mm. Mm. that's a good way to see it yeah because i think you, as, for what you said as well like a lot of people are just putting that pressure on themselves mm-hmm. mm. but there are a myriad of options, you know, yeah, like really think, is. yeah, you know, you can be single at 30, you can be single at 40, you know, and not have to follow that path. Guideline. Yeah, yes. the guideline that everyone everyone follows. is too, like, it's like tunnel vision. Yes. And I feel right. like sometimes we need to take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Yeah. Yes, yes. I don't want to look back at 80 and realise like, oh my god, regret. I have regrets. Because to be honest, I feel like re- feeling regret is worse than feeling sad. Is that so I sad, agree. I can still move on. But yeah. Yeah, regret cannot. Like, yes. No yeah. cure for Precisely. regret. Yeah. Like, but okay, like, I think it's good that our boyfriends and us, we are all quite, sort of on yeah. the same page, yeah. you know. There isn't like one rushing or like trying to chase the next thing. Mm. We're just taking it one step, step at a time. time. Yeah, I mean, actually for me, I am actually 29 this year. Mm. So, I do feel the TikTok of the time. Kind of, especially uh, sometimes. Because uh, a lot of my friends yeah. are already married, mm. popping out baby number one, baby number two. I'm Auntie like... Auntie Charlotte. I'm still do unmarried. Do you want kids though? I love kids. I would really want to have my own kids. Mm. Uh, my boyfriend also loves kids. Uh, mm. But, you know... They always say after you're 30, <laughs> your eggs kind of oh, okay, yeah, aren't great anymore. <laughs> so it is also yeah, a, a worry of mine. Yeah. yeah, like, you know, if I'm not getting married by the time I'm 30 plus, how long more can my eggs survive inside me? And, like, you know, will I have a child? Mm, if I have a yeah. child, will they have Any, health issues? Yeah. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely, like, something we. Girls Unfortunate mind, but yeah. true, yeah, yeah. you know. Increase your eggs, right? It costs, it's an option, lah. It, it also costs fifteen thousand dollars. Since I bought her good. Everything yeah. really yeah. migrate. Yeah. Everything really adds up. <laughs> come, come. <laughs> She's like, come over to my side. <laughs> no, I want to change with her. <laughs> yeah, change passport. Change, change passport. 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 Green for you, red for me. <laughs> okay, okay, I go. We we switch for a while. We see how it works. <laughs> yeah. At least you'll be stressed, yeah. 
So I think maybe let's end off this session with an interesting question. Where do you see your relationship going in the next five years? Oh, wow. Mm. I have to be frank. I'm not sure if it can last that long. Okay. Because you know I was talking about missing single life. Oh. Yeah. Now, right? So how we resolve that is um, I took some, we spent some time apart. Okay. To really like like a short break. work on ourselves and kind of reaffirm feelings for mm. both ends as well. Yeah. So after that sort of break, we um, it I realized that okay, I think I can work things out with you. So we'll give it like one last try, like one last shot kind of thing. Okay. So we are still in the process of doing so. So okay. I would say that I'm still not very certain of our future. Like, it's currently a little bit it's okay shaky. we're still working on it hopefully it works out but yeah i do really really want to try my best to yeah. make things work out so mm. if in the five years i think we'll still be doing what i like hopefully i can start a creative agency oh and hopefully he'll be he by your his side fashion stuff or whatever yeah. yeah i think you guys do have pretty similar interests yeah. and he also helps you a lot with your photography and all yeah, that. Yeah, he does. He's very, yeah. very, very He's the boyfriend. He really He's is the eh. BF to it's the best. Level, eh. He He learns Photoshop just to help me That's retouch so my see? skin. See? See? Save like. It's yeah. hard for us to even us get our boyfriend's photo. She, she need to import me from no, Indo to take photos say, for uh, her. We all meet, right? Then my boyfriend will teach your boyfriend how to take oh. photos. Then you can teach him some Maybe other stuff. Maybe Max run away. Course. They yeah. run away. <laughs> this one is like skills. Yeah, must, must run Our guys will run away. Really Very hot. Yeah, yeah. Must squat down, man. Okay, la, but I enough or not? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. Right. So I think it's cool that you guys have a shared hobby that yeah. is sort of also your shared work. work. Yeah. yeah. And he can help you, yeah, which is I something that. When I can. <laughs> <laughs> and it's something that Fair I've train. always wanted, but I know I can't get it. Yeah. So like, I just move on with it. You know, that's yeah. like compromise or like yeah, yeah. 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 If, if he cannot help me, then okay, all my friends can help me. Maybe Same. sometime if yeah. really urgent, then I will like just any help class ah. <laughs> yeah. Or give him, or you can show him like a mood board. Oh you dang! See, like, this wow. You cannot show finance one. guy mood board. <laughs> you like? Why he like numbers? Why then you add a bit of numbers? Yeah, like, golden like, ratio <laughs> of the photo oh, is yeah, like eh, here, forty degree. degree you squat down yeah. more. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Make me look taller. He always make me look like a dwarf. Yeah, I don't know how. <laughs> oh and God. she's so tall already. Yeah, That's like a new talent. I show him, and you this see, one, real person, one, and the one you take. So like, ha ha ha. I don't know how you can compromise. You can press edit, right? Then you Skew can change the perspective. Skew down. <laughs> I yeah. mean, desperate times call for desperate measures. So. I get you, girl. So what Max, about you? what about you? Five years into the future, do you see you and Max starting? A house together, start of something new. Mm, maybe in five years' time, because like we recently do bring up like a bit, a bit of like marriage mm. and all. Yeah. Because mm. like, I want to know where, when. where and when, like, where I'm gonna place and face myself. Mm. Okay, okay. Like, how long am I gonna do this like fly in thing? Like, yeah. Because honestly, it's like it's very tiring. exhausting. It's really, really exhausting. How often do you fly? Uh, I try to fly in like once every month like, at least. Oh yeah, because yeah. he it's really difficult for him to yeah. go back. He hasn't been back for three years. Oh my yeah. goodness. It must be very taxing, especially with COVID also. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's why like I couldn't fly in for two years. But we work out a lot in our relationship. Mm. So maybe in five years time, married or not, I don't know yet. But mm. if yes, yeah, I think I do see a future with this guy. Yeah. Oh. That's nice. For you. Yeah. Yours will work out too. Hopefully. Out. Whether it right. works out yeah. or not, I think. Just be happy. Yes. yes. Just the point happy. is just be happy. Mm. I think for me, I guess, I, I will say we are quite serious and in our relationship. Now. I hope baby. I'll be carrying a little baby. <laughs> baby by then got three babies. Got three, yeah. <laughs> In the next one, we just follow each year for Twins, twins, oh twins, Two twins one, and then one. Uh, one other. <laughs> yeah, because I think for me, I, I'm i quite a family person. Mm. I do want to set my rules. But you do have a clear vision where you mm. and your partner want kids, right? Mm. Mm. Yeah, and I think, fingers crossed, we will also be able to get a house in Singapore. 
resale or you know if we are renting mm -hmm. whatever it is but i think yeah like meg said i think we are both on sort of the same path mm -hmm. we see each other getting married to the other yeah so yes uh, it's kind of crazy to say that we met on a dating app as well uh. right right yeah but i think in the next few years, it will be quite normal. Yeah, I think people are slowly trying to accept it also. It right? yeah. is. There's more and more success yeah. stories. One. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully I you're one you. of them. <laughs> yeah. Then on your wedding yeah. speech, you will say oh, like, hey, yes. I actually met on. my No, no, then you get them to sponsor your wedding. Oh! Why there's not? There's an idea right there. Yeah, there's right. an idea right Who said there's no success story? Right, right. Here is yes. one. <laughs> Walking down the aisle. Right, right, right. Okay, thanks so much ladies for joining me on today's episode. Thank you. I think we had really good chat talking about all our different relationships. And the teas and that Elvina served today. Lots of tea from... Oh, I got tea. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I haven't get into it. But it is we'll more. Have episode got number got two. More. <laughs> episode number two. Yeah. We'll, go, we'll go more into that next time. So thanks so much for hanging out with us and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye. Bye-bye.